welcome to today's video. We are going to be cleaning and organizing my bathroom. So I'm just going to give you a quick tour of what's going on in here right now so you guys can see. I'm going to be scrubbing my bathtub today. As you can see, I'm going to zoom in here. There is this ring that is in the bottom of my bathtub and so I'm going to be scrubbing that today. I'm going to be scrubbing it pretty good because I do not want this ring hanging out in my bathtub and I also have a ring that's in my toilet that we're going to be scrubbing today too but I decided to start in the bathtub. We do have some hard water in our house so that usually is why our tubs and toilets get those rings in the bottom, the stains and stuff. So but I'm going to be tackling it today. I'm going to get it taken care of because I have found out that just with some good old elbow grease, you know, you can usually get the majority of those stains off. So I'm just going to be using a Brillo pad here that I got at the dollar store. It came in a pack of four or five. And I know you can also find them at Walmart, Target, and things like that. But I was just at the dollar store and I found these. And so I am using this today to do my scrubbing. I'm also using my tub and tile cleaner from Grill. Grove Collaborative and this stuff actually did an amazing job in my bathtub. I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. I did have to scrub this for quite a while but I, I'm going to share with you that you should, let me, when you guys notice that there's some stains or anything like that that's going on or some buildup in your bathtub, you want to tackle that right away because the longer you let it sit, the harder it's going to be to get rid of. So if you see that starting to happen in your bathtub or in your toilet, you want to tackle it as soon as you can, just because if the longer you wait, it's going to be hard to get it off. And so I, um, actually, I didn't wait too long on this one. So this one isn't too bad, but I still had to do quite a bit of scrubbing to get the stains off and everything. And, you know, I have found out that a lot of times good old elbow grease and the basic tools have done amazing. I know there's a million gadgets out there that say that they can do this and say that they can do that and I try really really hard to not use harsh chemicals because like I said I have found out that just the basic tools and elbow grease have done an amazing job. You just have to like I said I know it's tiring because I will tell you, my hands were tired at the end of this. So I did have to take, you know, a break in between, you know, here and there for a little bit, but it's okay because I got it done, mission accomplished, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So now I'm going to be cleaning my toilet here and I'm using this Lysol cleaner. It says it's supposed to help with rust and hard water stains and it does work fairly well. I have used it a couple of times in my toilet and it's not bad, but I have not found that miracle product that just melts stains away. I have found out that you just have got to get in there and scrub. So I am going to let this sit in here for just a little bit, let it do its thing. I'm going to clean the outside of my toilet and then I'm going to scrub my toilet as well because I am noticing that there is a ring that is going on in there and I just want to get it taken care of because I don't want that to be I don't want my toilet to have that nasty ring in there that um, I've noticed some older toilets can get over time and everything. And I know there's different causes and everything to those. Some of um, the one that I have is just because we have hard water. So that's why I have those in my bathtub and in my toilet. All right, but I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to let you guys enjoy some music for a little bit and I will talk to you soon. I got those two big projects done. Now I'm going to be cleaning my sink drain. And I 
do not like cleaning my sink drain. Sometimes some really nasty stuff can come up, but I am not hiding stuff from you guys. This is real life. This is real messes right here. So I'm going to show you what comes out of my sink. And it's actually pretty gross. I mean, it's not as bad as sometimes when I've cleaned it out. I can get some pretty big hairballs coming out here. And I do know I have long hair, so I do shed. And I really just don't know how all that hair ends up in the sink. But you know, I guess that's where it goes. So I'm going to show you guys. I have this little tool that I found on Amazon. It was like $5. I can't remember. I have had this tool for a little bit. And the one thing that I do like about it is that it does a really good job of getting the stuff out of your drains. But what I don't like is that it does not clean up very well. It has these little hairs on it and everything sticks to it, which is good when you're trying to clean out your sink. But then when you're trying to clean it when you're all done, it's really hard to get all that nasty stuff off. So that's really the only part that I don't like about it. All right, but now we're going to be moving on to my counters here. I'm going to start here on the top, and then I'm going to slowly work down into uh, my drawers and underneath my sink, just because we only have one bathroom in my house, so I just have to try to make everything fit under here for five people, which it can kind of be a challenge. So I found these bags on Amazon and I thought they would help the kids out a lot just because I'm also trying really hard to not have a lot of clutter on the counter. So I got these bags that they can put their toothbrushes in, their toothpaste, their flossers, you know, their personal hygiene products and then these can go under the sink and then um, we won't have to have everything sitting up here on the counter and everything and it just it, it just makes me happy because I try not to have a lot of clutter out I don't like a lot of stuff on my counters and everything so I thought these would help out and then the kids don't have to you know worry about oh this is mine or this is mine or anything like that because it's already in their bag so this is perfect these were I think ten dollars I want to say these bags were like ten dollars and I got six of them so I thought that was a really good deal and I'm probably going to be using the other three under the sink for other things but I bought these for the kids to try out so we'll see if they like their new toothbrushing bags <music> I know we're a little ways into the video here, but I do want to take the time to introduce myself to those of you who are new to my channel. My name is Justine and my channel is all about real life messes in a small house. We are a family of five and we live in a 1200 square foot house and we have one bathroom, which I'm cleaning today. And you know, we just are really comfy cozy. We have some major messes that go on in this house because we live a very busy lifestyle and I love to share my cleaning motivation with you guys. So I make weekly cleaning videos and also I will throw in some cleaning tips and tricks and products and everything that I like to try and I'm always looking to throw some new stuff in there and I would love to hear from you guys. So if you guys have any input or something that you want to see or something that you would like me to try, I would love to hear from you. So leave me a comment down below. I upload weekly so you guys will always have new content to watch. And I mean, 
I just, like I said, I just can't thank you guys enough for my subscribers that have been with me this whole time. I really do appreciate it. You guys mean so much to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And please, um, for those of you who are new, please subscribe to my channel because I would absolutely love it and it would help me out so much. So um, with all that being said, we are now going underneath my sink here and I'm going to be taking a few minutes. I do apologize that you can't really see what I'm doing um, down on the floor here because uh, I guess I should have tilted my camera down just a little bit, but once I got into the project, um, I, you know, I just was super focused and I wanted to get it done. So I am just going through everything that I have under here. And like I said earlier in my video, I have one bathroom to put everybody's stuff in here. So I have to put five people's things in, underneath the sink and in the drawers. So I am constantly looking for new organization ideas and things like that. And I'm also trying to cut back on things um, just because there's a lot of stuff out there that you really don't need. And I just don't have the storage for it. And I mean, to be honest with you, I really don't want to go and get a bigger house just to put more stuff in it. So I'm kind of like, nope, you know, I really don't need that. I could do without that or I could find something different. So um, I'm actually really proud of myself that I have come this far because when I was younger, I will tell you, <laughs> well, my mom could tell you, my mom could tell you that, you know, I love this and I love that. And I'm actually really proud of myself because I've realized you do not need all of those things in your life. So, you know, that was just a little thing that I thought I would throw in there. But, um, so I'm going to go through everything under here, organize, and I'm going to be using these new bags that I got for the kids because I was making their little toothbrush bags. And I thought to myself, I could put my skincare products in one because then instead of pulling this drawer out and having to grab every single bottle that I use, I could just grab the bag and then I could put everything back in the bag and then put it in the top drawer and away we go. And I don't have to grab six bottles and I can just grab the bag. So I thought that would be a great idea. Okay, but let's keep on going with the video and let's see what happens next. Okay, so now we're going to be moving on to the drawers. And the first drawer that I'm going to start with is my makeup drawer, which I actually do not have a whole lot going on in here. I do need to clean my makeup blenders. As you can see, those are pretty gross. I actually haven't worn makeup in quite a while just because, uh, you know, I just haven't. So I'm really excited to get back into wearing makeup because I love makeup. I actually have quite a bit of it. 
Um, so I'm really excited to be able to wear it again and try out the colors and this and that. Or it's actually really funny because I always thought to myself that I would love to try all these colors and things like that. But to me, um, it's a little scary. I, I usually just use neutral colors and things like that for eyeshadows and stuff. And that's probably what I'm going to stick to. I went and got some like purples and blues one time to try it out because I thought it'd be really cool. And I'm like, nope that's not me. I just like my neutral colors. So that's what I'm going to stick with. And I'm just slowly going to be moving up and cleaning the drawers now. good I'm really happy with how the bathroom is coming along it looks so nice and clean now here and I will show you underneath the sink here so you can see what I did underneath there and I didn't change a whole lot but I did put a few more things in some bags I did make a skincare bag for myself the kids have their toothbrush bags and I used one or two of the other bags and I put some extra products in there just so that everything wasn't moving around and I think I put a hair products in the other one but like I said I'm always trying to find new ways um, to organize my bathroom so I do want to share with you these really cool cloths that I found on Amazon they come in a set here so you have your blue and your green and these are for washing windows and mirrors first you start with the green one all you have to do is get it wet and then this blue one you use to dry it off and it's actually really cool because you do not have to use Windex if you don't want to sometimes I do sometimes I don't but I found out that you can just get this cloth wet wipe your mirror down with it and then go over it with the blue one and the blue one's supposed to have zero lint on it so your mirror and windows come off really clean so I am trying it out today with with just the water because I have used these cloths before but I've always used Windex or I have another Ecos um, glass cleaner that I like to use that one's actually my favorite over Windex but it's been kind of hard to find lately so I do have to just use Windex every once in a while but I'm just using the water today and as you can see my mirror it looks so good so I mean if you're I don't know how this would work out on something that's really dirty I actually am going to be testing this out um, on my back door I have a bigger dog who she lives outside and it's really funny because she loves to lay right by my back door and she's gotten those two glass doors back there really dirty so I'm actually going to be testing it out and I will let you guys know um, here in a video coming up soon so you guys will get to see that because that is something that I'm going to test out here because I'm actually really curious to see how it does on something that's really messy outside if you need the Windex or if the water is just fine so we will test that out in another video coming up um, but I'm just going to be finishing up the floors here in my bathroom so I swept them really quick because it's a small floor so it didn't take too long and this is my favorite mop this mop I found on Amazon it's $40 and it comes with these two reusable heads which I mean I love because when you're done you can just take it off 
and then throw it in your washing machine with all of your rags and everything and then you don't have to buy re more heads um you don't have to throw anything away so this mop is actually really it's one of my favorite products that i love to use to clean my floors <music> And there you go, we are done. So I'm really happy that I got my bathroom so nice and clean. I did a lot of scrubbing today, but it looks so good and I'm really happy with how it came out. So I wanna thank you guys for watching my video, coming along with me. Please take the time to subscribe to this channel and leave me a comment down below and watch some of my other videos. And I will see you guys soon, bye.